Hey, Ben Kaiser here, and today I want to show you how to use the Pathfinder tool in order to get perfectly clean shapes either around your objects or putting negative space between objects. It's a really quick tip, but it's something that I struggled with for a long time and just didn't take the time to figure out a better way to do it. So I'm going to show you now how to find a better way to use the Pathfinder tool. If you've yet to subscribe to this channel, I highly recommend doing so. I put out daily videos helping you level up your graphic design skills as well as creating media that packs a punch and builds an audience. Now, if you like the content, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, well, thumbs down. But I hope you like the content. We're gonna head over my screen right now. Check it out. Welcome over to the screen where I will now be showing you the top tips and tricks using the Pathfinder tool in Illustrator. And we're looking right now at the image that I created or the icon for the new Globe 180 Retreat. But let's get into the details. So what I want to show you to do is how to get this perfect spacing around your shapes in Illustrator. And how do you cut this off? And I did this wrong for quite a long time, but recently I thought I'm going to share my tips and tricks and secrets on how to get very nice spacing on your objects. So let's jump on over right now to Illustrator and let's do this. And as you see, I haven't added a lot of the shapes here just because I'm going to show you the basic way and you can expand on it from here. But one way I'm going to show you is we're going to start off with this shape here. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this shape and I'm going to do that by hitting Option or Alt on Windows versus Mac and then I'm going to toggle over right and then back to left on my keyboard. And I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to hit Option, right arrow, and it'll toggle us over to the right, and then we'll release the option and click back to the left. And then what that'll do is it'll duplicate the shape. Now, what I want to do is in my Strokes panel, I want to add a two-point stroke. So we'll add that two-point stroke, hit Enter, and that adds the stroke. So now this will give us, if we come up here, and we turn this white, you'll see the spacing that we're gonna get around the shape. And remember, this is gonna be a little bit bigger than it's gonna be because the stroke adds on the, both the inside and the outside. And that's just a side note. Let's come up here to Object, Expand, and click Enter. All right, now that it's expanded, we're gonna go to the Pathfinder tool, and we're gonna completely expand that entire shape so that way the shape is larger. So now we expand that shape. Now before we convert this shape, I'm going to show you in the past what I always tried to finagle into doing, and I'm quite embarrassed to say it. But I would come up here, I would click this point here, I would click this point here, and this point here, and then I would go and I would delete this middle point. Now what that would do is it would detach the shape. From there, from there, I would delete these extra shapes that I created. I would change this to an end. All right, and then I would kind of turn this and, and finagle it into what I what I wanted to be. And it was an it was an awful idea, but that's what I did. Okay, so let's command Z all that out, and I'm gonna show you the correct way to do this. Now, how do you get this to trim out? One thing I want to note is after you do this, you will not be able to go back and edit your shape as you did before. So, for instance, if I want to do something like that. After I make this switch, I'm going to convert this to a shape. I won't be able to do that again. So what I always recommend doing is, as you see here, I have multiple versions of my object. I duplicate my objects to make sure I have backups in case I mess up and think, well, I really don't like the way that turned out. I'm going to revert. So that's what I do. So what you do is you'll come to your line and you'll come up here to Object, Expand, Appearance. And now it's a shape. Now we'll click the shape that we created in order to create the outline. And we'll make sure that this shape is on top of the new shape we created. We'll hold shift and we'll click so both shapes are selected. Now we'll come over to the Pathfinder tool, click minus from front. And now we have a perfectly symmetrical shape, negative space surrounding the circle. Now, before we move on, we're going to ungroup this object. And the reason we're going to ungroup this object is because if we try and do another clipping, it basically deletes the object, which is really weird. I, I don't know the ins and outs of that, but just trust me on this. 
it's, it's, it's needed to do. And let me show you a quick example. So I'm going to create a quick square, select my object again, and minus. And it deletes this side and this. So you see that? I, I don't know why it does it, but that's what it does. So we're going to Command Z that out, and just always make sure you ungroup your object. Go Object, Ungroup, or as you see, Shift Control G or Command Shift G on a Mac. So now that the object is ungrouped, we're going to create a shape here, like so. A little bit of angle to it. Click down here, reunite the shape. We'll get up to our selection tool again. Select these two shapes and minus from front. And there you go. You've now created two symmetrical shapes and have really nice spacing, and they're very even across the board. Thanks for watching this tutorial today about how to use the Pathfinder tool. Again, if you have any questions or you want to see me make other tutorials, please comment below. If you get to subscribe, I highly recommend doing so. And don't forget the bell notifier so you don't miss out on any of the content. Again, I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com, and this was an episode from Punch Media.